Hey everyone, welcome back to Stratelli Studios. So, I thought it would be fun to go over a couple of songs off of Level 42's album, Guaranteed. This is the album that Alan Holdsworth played on. And, you know, most of you probably know I'm a huge Alan Holdsworth fan. And, uh, <laughs> okay, hold on, I gotta show you. That's, that's me. My, sorry for the dirty frame, but that's me and Alan right there hanging out. And um, I love two tracks on this on this recording that um, Alan takes solos on. Seven Years and If You Were Mine. These are the two. Here's my spreadsheet here that um, helps me to remember stuff. And um, I wanted to play these for you. This is Seven Years, and I, and I want you to pay attention to a couple of things here. Um, Obviously, Alan Holdsworth, which I'll you know point out some things with him, but also listen to Mark King playing the bass. Um, he's an absolute monster on bass. Mark King could have made a career of just being a bass player, <laughs> um, but he's an incredible singer as well, and he does them both at the same time. And I remember seeing them late one night on Saturday Night Live, and this was before I knew who they were, and I saw Mark King singing and playing, and I was absolutely blown out of the water watching him play what he was playing on the bass and singing lead um so i became an instant fan so this song seven years is one of, one of my favorites on this album um and the interesting thing here is their drummer gary husband had played with alan holdsworth for many years before joining level 42 so it's no surprise that gary has been the drummer calls his buddy alan holdsworth the guitar player up to come and play on this album now i remember the the moment that i discovered that alan holdsworth had played on this because i was christmas shopping and i was in the parking lot and I had just gotten the CD and I didn't know Alan Holdsworth was on this album. And I'm like, ooh, a new Level 42 album. So I, I put CD in. And CD, so you know it's a few years back, right? And I'm sitting in the parking lot in the in the San Fernando Valley, you know, wrapping up some Christmas shopping. And I sat here and I heard this song and my mind was floored because instantly I realized who was playing i knew it was alan holdsworth as soon as i heard it and i'm like can this be true because i'm a major level 42 fan and i'm like you're kidding me alan holdsworth my favorite guitar player is playing with my favorite band oh what more can you ask for okay i'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get into this track together and uh i might make some comments along the way i might not i don't know but um i i want you to hear this with me here we go there's no video it's just the audio that bass. Sounds like a fretless. There's thunder rolling in your eyes, it's raining in your heart. What lies around the corner you have seen a hundred times But you never thought anything like it would happen to you Baby, it's gone He walked out on you Turn the key and hate the bow 
another verse here, but the bridge absolutely slays me, and that's coming up here. Baby's gone. Now what do you Simple ascending notes. Gives you, a, gives you a taste. Alan gives you a little taste right there. does a solo at the end here. Here he comes. Oh man, yeah, they cut it out on the video here. But so um, I wanted to play this one first, so that you can just get that uh, the little hint of what he is doing in this group. Now, this other song, "If You Were Mine," has got this just absolute winner of a solo, and um, it's these little things that he's doing that. <laughs> I absolutely love like that little midsection that he did this little beautiful little interlude <clears throat> that was so melodic so incredibly melodic and um, we get a lot more of him in this song so this is if you were mine and uh, he freaking burns at the end of this um, takes it to a whole nother level so I think Alan's right at the top on this here we go Such a different song I ain't gonna punch you in the eye Just cause you tell the crazy lie Even so I knew how you So Alan will come gone. in In these little spots As the song progresses They, they kind of leak him in 
a little bit at a time, and then they, they cut them loose at the end. Syncopation of the chorus here. You hear that bass? <laughs> and by the way, that's not Alan Holdsworth in the picture over here. That's not a, that's not him. <laughs> Misses you, Alan Holdsworth. Well, um, I absolutely love that solo. Uh, so, most guitar players, when they have a solo, they're going to start off slow and start off and build, but not not Alan Holdsworth. He starts off with the fire. Man, he threw a freaking fireball right at the beginning of that solo just nuts nuts just establishing this is my ground here and oh i just absolutely love that i've never heard a guitar player do that so it's so beautiful because in his playing and why i love him so much is that yes he can play at lightning speed he could play these real angular uh, uh licks and in bizarre licks and licks that's 
that your fingers have to spread like crazy and really bizarre stuff and all these crazy patterns and sequences and stuff. But what I love about him is his melodic sense because within all of that crazy stuff that he's doing, there's still melody. There's a tremendous amount of melody, beautiful, beautiful, deep, soulful melody. What more can you ask for, really? It's it's just mind-boggling. So there are parts where I'm so floored by the flurries that he's doing, and then he breaks into this beautiful melody out of nowhere, like a violinist would. And uh, it's just mind-blowing. A little fact about Alan Holdsworth is that he never wanted to play guitar. He played guitar because his father got him an acoustic guitar years ago, but what he really wanted was a saxophone. And he has said that that's really what he's trying to do on, on the guitar is to play sax on the guitar. And he tried to play sax and he said every time he blew into it, his ears would pop and he couldn't hear. So he, he had to put it down. But he said he doesn't really like the guitar. <laughs> He doesn't really he doesn't really like the guitar. He's probably the best, you know, one of the best guitar players in the world and you know, uh, you know, in the history of guitar, guitar playing and and he never really wanted to play guitar. So that's pretty mind-blowing. He's a humble guy too. I met him and had a chance a couple times to chat with him. And um he took um compliments really hard. He didn't like people telling him that he was great. He didn't like people, um, you know, saying that they even really liked him. He'd rather talk about, you know, what he was drinking that night. He'd rather talk about, um, you know, other things than that. And, and he, it was amazing just because it's like he didn't see himself the, rest, the way the rest of the world saw him. And he struggled um, with that. And um, he's extremely humble. If you have ever seen his um, instructional uh, footage, he is so incredibly painfully humble. Uh, he shows like these are the scales that I use, and I don't know if they, you know, they're worth anything to anybody else, and I don't even know what to call them. But you know, this is what I do, and you know, and and it, it's it's mind blowing. Um. What a genius. What a genius. So anyway, thanks for, you know, sticking around with me as I shared this with you. This is, you know, my passion. Uh, this kind of stuff just really, really gets me excited. And, and uh, you know, to to implant Alan Holdsworth in a pop band like this um, just absolutely blew my mind. And I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. So uh, thanks for joining me on it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Catch you next time. Bye.